going on everybody welcome back to a motor pool mondays aka maintenance mondays and today we're going to go over how to use a edge finder we're using a half inch edge finder which is right here i told you here so amarillo is going to load it for y'all okay get in the mill it's in those grooves if it's not redo it so we're gonna get g54 on the x here and on the y back here why? Because I set it in the program like that, right here. As you can see it. My X is right here, and my Y is back there. And you use your edge finder, you want to make sure this is pushed off. Right? You don't want to make sure, you don't want to make it straight. You want to push it off. And you'll see when it comes down here, it's going to get straight. Right? Like that. Then once it pushes off, you press stop. And that's where you can put in your, whether you're in the X or the Y, you can put your uh, part set zero. So watch how we do it. We got the spindle speed at 500 RPMs, S500 M03. Press enter and then cycle start. Once you get in position, press uh, enter and cycle start. That's about right. Cycle start. Go ahead and get ready. Do minor commotion in the back. This is a working shop. So he's turning it. Very slow. See it? Once it gets yeah. straight, and once it pushes off, you press stop. There it is. All right. See that? Go ahead and press stop. Okay, so now you're gonna go in offsets, which you're already in, press up on the key. There you go. And you're gonna go to work. And then now we just did the X, right? So to get this figure right here, you're gonna press part set zero. And you see that figure has changed, but hang, uh, but hold on though. Remember when I said earlier, the cutter or the um, edge finder, excuse me, is a half inch. Since we went negative on the uh, X, we have to subtract negative 0.25. We're gonna do part zero set. The figures were changed. Like, it was a little blurry. So, remember I said your edge finder is half inch. Since you went negative on the X, you have to subtract negative 0.25. And then you're gonna press enter after you press it in here. Your figures will change again. Now, your X is set. You got to your desired corner that you want and that you're using for your G54X. Go ahead and turn on your machine. Press cycle start. And now what you're gonna do is, since it's off-centered, you're gonna go in just slightly until it kicks off. Once you kick off, you press stop. There you go, it just kicked off. Okay, now you're gonna go in work in your offsets. Right, you're now in your X axis. You're gonna press part zero set and watch it change. There you go, it changed. So now, remember I said the edge finder is a half inch. You have to add in 0.25, half of the edge finder. Why? Because you're getting the edge of it. You, you, you have to do, you have to subtract of the actual edge finder, which is half inch, it's 0.25, quarter inch. So since we went positive, you're gonna watch it change. We gotta add 0.25. Right, and that's your figures. The reason why you have to add, because when you're, when you're getting your coordinate on your X, the edge finder is a half inch. When you went in, it's 0.50, but then think about it, right? It's 
you, if you got half, if you got something whole and it's and you're going half of it, you have to half it. And with that being said, you have to add that in there in your X. So half of half inch is a quarter inch. And we went positive. Now on the Y, you'll see that it's going to be negative. So we're going to have to subtract negative 0.25. So now we are on our desired Y, which we move to the back. And again, you push off on the edge finder. And once it comes straight and pushes off again, you would then press stop. And you see, the number is decreasing. That's why I say you have to subtract. If the number is increasing, you have to add. Remember that rule of thumb. As you can see, it's getting straight. And as it, once you push off, you press stop. There you go. Go ahead, press stop. Go back in your offset for your work. Right? You're on your Y axis. You're gonna press part zero set and you'll see that figure change. There you go. But remember what I said. You have to subtract negative 0.25 now because you are going negative. And the figures have changed. This is, these are the exact same numbers from when we did it before. And, I, and that's how you make sure. So again, the edge finder has to be pushed off. Once it comes to the edge, it straightens up and pushes off again, you press stop. Then, whether you went positive or negative, and in our case, we went positive on the X, you have to add 0.25, you're subtracting the half of the, uh, from the edge finder, which is half inch. Then, on the Y, we went negative, so we had to subtract the negative 0.25, and this is what you get. Well, the edge finder is great for use. Why I say that is because if you don't have a Heimer, as long as you use this correctly, you'll be straight as far as getting the edge you need from your setting your G54 from your program. If, if it doesn't match, your G54 does not match on your program, it will not cut right. Or just if you're getting G54 from a handwritten uh, program. Well, this is all I have for more Proof Mondays. AKA Manus Mondays, and I'll catch y'all next time. Thank you for my assistant, Sarmarillo. All right, y'all.